Hello, it's John Neal here again, a chalkboard artist, and today I think we might have to call this one the Smoothie Special. Oh, by the way, hope you like the hat. It's uh, a bit snowy outside. It's December, just the start of 2010, and uh, we've had a bit of a cold snap. I'll show you. That's the garden outside. Well, I'm very pleased to have, uh, first of all, sold another DVD to um, somebody uh, in California. In fact, it's Robin Cass. I do believe Robin's a fella's name, a bloke. And uh, it would be with a wife, it wasn't. Um, anyway, Robin has uh, said that he's asked for a request. Uh, if I can make a request, a shop serves ice cream, yogurts and smoothies. Can you demonstrate how to make a smoothie shake with a clear dome, lid and straw? Sure, I'll give it a try. The str a strawberry blush smoothie is a big seller. The yoghurt shops are on the central coast of California where they grow the best strawberries. Well, they do pretty good down in Eastern in England as well, I'll have you know. But uh, yeah, here we go. Now, uh, Robin's also sent me a logo this is what it looks like and that I think will pop right in the middle first and it's a fairly simple uh, logo so it should be quite easy to mark it out so I'm going to start here roughly in the center of this board this board by the way is only this size because it's the only board I've got and I don't know what shape um, Robin wants but I'm gonna put it there I've already put a line around it but it don't mean that doesn't mean that, that is just the small area I'm going to use, I can cut into it. And I might well do for this. So we've got this shape, and these going. The roughly that part of the end is in the middle, so it's just actually level there. So I'm going to need to fill that much space up with it. So I'm going to put the now to block fill the colour in. I've made that T slightly wider. I can correct that with black in a while. Now this first coat of blue is not uh, completely opaque, so I'll go over it again later. But I'm copying the logo again. I've sketched it out once with the pencil crayon. There goes the black to get rid of that. And there's a second co coat of blue, and the rest will be like that in, in a while. Now here's the pink. The Sometimes the colours in the pens are not always the best from colour to colour. The pink is never an easy flowing colour. So that looks very weak, but I can go over that again when, once it's dry. Okay, let's move on to one of the pictures. There are three pictures there. This is a, an ice cream. I don't know how you would uh, serve up ice cream, but this is going to be in a, a cone-shaped biscuit container. I'm putting yellow on first, and then a few of the colours that would be in with it, and then just rub the whole lot in, hopefully getting the shape that we're after, which is a sort of cone shape with a cylindrical thing there. It has these notches going across. Now the white, again, doesn't always go on completely um, clear. Uh, opaque, but that's that sometimes is good, and you see, I've rubbed some of it in there. Uh, you can wait until that dries and then add some highlights. The yogurt pot in the middle here, I'm putting it in a pot, I don't know what else you want, but again, just a few my lines going in the direction that you would like them to go, and then change and put a white on, and then just rub it in with your thumb vertically up and down. So that's the direction I want the feeling of that to go. Speed it up it and finish that off. A bit of black there, I think. Just underneath all the edges. Spill a bit down the edge and put a spoon over to the side. And once that's properly dry, I can put the final highlights on, which will make it jump out. Most often it's these ellipse shapes and, uh, and cylinders. So there we go again with the pink. Now really, with this 
smoothies. I'm doing the, the contents first, so you do the inside, uh, the, the pink stuff, the smoothie. I suppose I ought to cut through the um, um, from the surface there. But the surface is often lighter as well. If you make that a lighter colour, that's putting white on it, that would help. And I'll just stretch some of the lighter colours down in the middle. I hope this is a deeper red. Yeah, that's right. Just fill that in and then just rub them all in. And that's the, the contents, that's the inside of the container. And the next stage is to mark the outside, the outline of the shape. There's the, the dome. Once that is done, then we can put some highlights on. Now, I have to admit, this piece went slightly wrong. This uh, across here... Uh, I, I made the letters too long, so I, I ran out of space. So I blacked it all out again. And here's a, a trick, one of the ways you can get around this. Just get uh, a piece of paper that's roughly the length that you want. It's got to go only to there, so let's fold that over that long. And then mark it with the, the lines that you want and actually draw on that paper, write on that paper. Right, I've taken a liberty here and put a white edge and a blue edge to the letters look. And here's a white edge and a red uh, bottom edge of the banner going across. The flat computer produced work doesn't always have this, so it's nice to add these on. Right, over to the um, smoothies thing. I mean, it's starting to tidy it up now. And get some, uh, there's a small pen you see I'm using, just to get it a bit neater looking. I would have, oh, there's the bottom edge which um, <laughs> needs to be a deeper, it wasn't deep enough by long way. And likewise, with this one, more colour on, now it's properly dry. And that's uh, more or less there. Well, there we have it, uh, the final piece of work. To be honest, if I'm copying stuff like this sometimes, it's not my design, so there are ideas which I wouldn't necessarily use. For instance, I don't think the red here on the pink stands out enough and I would have probably made more of these letters. I've added some highlights, but not much else. But uh, anyway, there's the um, uh, the smoothies thing. The other thing, I'll probably just get a pen and just mark a few lines to show where the floor is, where they're sat down. Okay, thanks a lot. And uh, ooh, don't forget the website. See you again next time. Bye.